Hey book review fans, uh, Ben back here with uh, some good book reviews. Uh, today's book is by an author named Jade Lake. It's called Mainspring. Uh, it's it's actually a really fantastic book. Um, the beginning was a little slow for me, um, but once you get into it, it gets really exciting. It gets really fun, and um, everything just kind of picks up once once it once it finally gets going. Um, to begin with, though, we'll get that content advisory out there. Um, there, there are quite a bit of religious references in this book. Um, some, some Christianity, um, in kind of a different sense. You'll understand why once I explain more on on the background and the plot. Uh, there, there is some reference to erections, uh, wet dreams. There, there is a sex scene uh, towards the end of the book that's slightly illicit. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's not pornographic. I mean, they don't go into huge detail about it, but it definitely doesn't leave much up to the imagination, uh, if, if that makes sense. Um, there, there is magic, um, sort of throughout the whole book. Um, some reference to buggery, uh, or sodomy. Um, and that's really uh, about it. I, there's there's some fighting in it, so there's some killing. At one point, they, they there is some reference to sheep being gutted, and their uh, uh, either intestines or tendons. I can't remember now, being used to create a sort of harness or sling. Um, so that's that's pretty much the content there for you parents or others who are worried about that sort of thing. Um, keep in mind with with those when you when you go to pick up this book. Um, the the book starts and is centered around old colonial America. Um, you know we're still occupied. We haven't it hasn't quite been the Revolutionary War yet. Um, but the big difference in this book is that the whole universe and world is clockwork, which is what makes this book really cool. Uh, I think it's it's sort of a fun little twist. Um, God is is basically a, a great clockmaker. The whole universe is run on brass tracks. The the Earth runs around a track that centers around the Sun. The Moon runs on a track that goes around the Earth. Um, the whole Earth itself is split into two. Uh, hemispheres. The no the northern part of the world is split by a great brass wall from the south part of the world. Um, the north is is really industrialized, you know, um, and and along with that steampunk feel, there's airships, there's um, clockmakers. I mean, it's 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 very very steampunk in, in its sort of feel towards the beginning, and then it changes because in the south it's very magic. Um, it's it's very spiritual, but at the same time, uh, there's there's still that underlying uh, brass gear clockwork sort of feel to it. Um, it centers around a boy named Heather, uh, at least that's how I pronounce his name. Again, apologies for anybody who's you know professionally or <laughs> Jay Lake himself, who's the author of this book. If I'm saying it wrong, um, Heather is the main character. He is a clockmaker's apprentice. Um, and in the very beginning of the book, he is visited by the angel Gabriel. Um, now, because God is clockwork and his world is clockwork, obviously the angel is clockwork. This great clockwork angel, you know, bright light, visits him and gives him a task. Because everything's clockwork, uh, everything's run on springs. And the main spring of Earth needs to be rewound. And so this young boy, Heather, just an apprentice, gets tasked with doing this. And the whole book centers around his adventures. Um, the, the beginning is a little slow. It, through, through about the first half of the book, you're, you're kind of following along this um, kind of dreadful quest for help. Um, trying to, I mean, the boy's trying to get to, to a big city so that he can ask for help there and get guidance so that he can, you know, find find these these artifacts that he needs. And eventually it does pick up when he, when he finally gets out onto his journey. Um, but the first half is a little boring. Um, it's it's a, a pretty fantastic book. I really liked it. Um, Jay Lake is a great author. He's very descriptive. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, he does a fantastic job of um, mixing Christianity and this clockwork world. Instead of instead of Christ being um, 
crucified on a on a cross he's um, crucified on what they call a horrifix which is which is like a, a clockwork cross it's I mean it, he just does a really fantastic job he he knows what he's talking about he goes into some really fun detail with the building and making of these clocks in this world um, there's some really fun fight scenes there's some really fun sorcery battles I mean, and it's just it's just a fun a fun little fantasy world um, so so go check him out go purchase his book um, again it's mainspring is the is the first book in his title um, that's backwards unfortunately um, by Jay Lake and go go check him out he, he is just fantastic um, again thank you for tuning in and and watching my videos uh, again I'm pretty new at this I'm trying to get better I've changed my camera um, I'm not using the voice recorder this time uh, just to kind of see how things feel but definitely look forward to my next book I'll be I'll be handing another one out in a couple of weeks uh, please click on the link to my patreon page I know I screwed that up in the first video um, again I'm really new I'm learning how to do this but it should be here or there or here depending on where I end up putting it um, so thank you very much for all, all tuning in you know I, I do this for you guys I, I love books and I love sharing the amazing worlds that I've explored and um, you guys are amazing thank you again for those of you who viewed the first video and, and those of you who will uh, continue to to watch